Tom has just said I look like sorceress. I love it. I like being a sorceress. Hello, everyone. We have another Halloween haul for January for you guys. I hope this goes up in January. We're actually recording this in December. We have so much stuff to record that I'm like ahead, so yay. And so it's just kind of like we're oh, after the holidays, in the slump, ready for some Halloween. And we are here for you with some Halloween. Our lovely friend Jess, her channel is wonderfully blessed, and we will link it below, sent us a beautiful Yule box of mostly Halloween, just like we like it. We love you, Jess. We're, I was still, like, not over her Halloween package. It was so awesome. It was like... <sighs> and the day that our Yule package came in the mail, I didn't know it was coming, and we got this Yule package. And the day it came, I was actually um, using this cool metal mug that she sent in the Halloween box and this skull jar Gomez was using that was in the Halloween box and we're still not recovered from that and then she hit us again with more coolness thank you we love you if you guys are new subscribe check out our spooky playlists we are always spooky and let's get into this well first I'm modeling one of the things she sent this is adorable it's making me so happy it's a cat t-shirt and I look so good in it I really do and it has a hood on it. I've never had a hooded t-shirt and like a t-shirt hoodie I guess and she sent me two in one box look it has fur on it like cats <laughs> yeah yours sounds better my cat sound isn't as good he does raven and cat sounds better I had to wear my cat glasses with it I'm cat it out so check it it's got a little cat face with the whiskers on it it's so beautiful and witchy and we keep the witchy vibes going with this. I had this in my hair a second ago for a Harry Potter video because Bellatrix. And it's a cute little purple witch hat clip. It also looks good on me. If you didn't see the Harry Potter video, it's recent. Go look in our Harry Potter stuff because it was dark, slithery goodness. So the next cool item I might use or Gomez will use. We'll take turns because he wears my hat that's a bat hat like this that he took over. It's a raven bee cat. How cool. Ah! Yes, that's his good raven sound. These ravens will stalk him and follow him outside. It's awesome. Like all the time. They are at our house, Ophelia's house. It's cool. But this is cool because it's like a very um, ventilated hat. Like this material feels. It's got little tiny like air hole things. It's very cool. That'll be nice for the summer. So very cool. Very spooktacular. And then another hoodie t-shirt. Jack Skellington from A Nightmare Before Christmas. So cool. Isn't it lovely? Yes, it is. And then I was going to wear that, but I was like, I'll only wear one because I'm too lazy to like change clothes. And that is the hood on that. The back. Thank you so much, Jess. You is wonderful. And again, the front. Because we all need a little Nightmare Before Christmas in our lives. I feel like my arm's in the way. Okay. So that is exciting and wonderful and super cool. And let's see. Oh my God, this is making me happy. These are pumpkin leggings. And I can't wait to wear them. They look so friendly, smiling at us. Oh, I'm going to look so good. These always like make my figure look good. So I was like, yes, more Halloween leggings. And they feel very soft and like just like almost velvety but not they're just so soft um, these are awesome luggage ties because we're going to Salem soon hopefully unless like we're not able to or anything like major happens but we're trying to go to Salem and hang out with our friend Karen who is also going to go to Salem if all works out check this these are like cool spooky luggage ties not ties um tags it was a t-word Keep looking, yours is probably a different shade of black. <laughs> black bag, black jeans, black shoes, black cats. Love it. So that will be cool to use when we go on our trip. And I'm excited to wear these soon. Right now I have in some um, earrings I got for my birthday that are red garnets and I threw some little green studs in from mom for Christmassy colors, but you're not watching this in December, so you won't care. But check this, these are like cute little bat earrings. They're purple and they're like rubbery, so they won't be too heavy for my little ears who do not like big heavy earrings at all. I always turn them into pendants, so. These will stay earrings and they'll float around like they're flying around my head and I'm very excited about these. So cool. I always have a hard time keeping earrings from turning when I try to show them, but 
Cool. So that is exciting. And while we're on the jewelry front, I was going to wear this, but I didn't want it to get in the way of the cute cat face. So I'm going to show off. Check this. That is cool. It is a spider, like, it's a big necklace. Like, I think they're actually called something. It's not a neck piece because it's longer, but it's just very cool. And it's got three spiders and all these different segmented webs, and it's awesome. Look how cool. And it's kind of like the web um, is bat wing shaped. So our channel used to be called Bat Web Gothic Reviews, and this would have been so perfect for it. But we changed it to Jekyll Hyde Club for so many different reasons. Mainly the Victorian literature love that we have, and people kept saying Bat Web Gothic Reviews was hard to remember. So, Plus, I didn't want to be associated with Spider-Man because we don't do superheroes. Isn't that cool? It's just really cool. Very pretty. And I love the, I love it when spider webs look like bat wings. I'm going to wear this very soon. And this is very close to our hearts. It ought to be interesting to see what take. It's hard for people to get into Renfield's head. So the, Renfield, Slave of Dracula by, was it Barbara Hambly? Yes. Yeah. And she wrote some really cool vampire books. I think it's for those who hunt the night might have been the first one. They were also Victorian. And she writes a really good dragon series called, oh my god, is it something? Dragon Star was one of the books. I can't remember the name of the series. But Dragon Star was one, and like Night of the Demon Queen was one. It's a really good series about dragons and demons. And she just writes some cool series. So if you guys like fantasy and like Victorian stuff, check out... Barbara Hambly. She is cool, and I can't wait to see what she did with this. And it's a hardcover. It's so cool. Like, we're just book nerds, and so it's like, let's see if it has the old book smell. Even though it's kind of new, it has that book smell, because I think it's like a hardcover book smell, you know? And we just call it old book, because that used to be how books were, and then, yeah. God. So it has the good smell. It really does. You'll have to smell it later, Gomez. Okay. But we're excited to check this out. Thank you so much, Jess. Renfield is one of my favorite characters. It actually used to be my email until Gmail decided to go, not sweet but psycho. Check this. It's a cute little notepad and pen. Litter, Dad. So there's the pen, and then it looks like it's magnetic. Ooh, you can stick it up on stuff, like the fridge. See? It's got a magnet back there. Perfect. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Jess. And the pin sticks on it like that. Perfect. And I'm going to reuse the packaging because I mail stuff and I reuse packaging. Yay. Okay. Oh, these are cute. I'm wearing one. This is, these are different Halloween bracelets and they say different things on them, but I'm wearing Cute But Psycho. And it's pink, but it says psycho. So. <laughs> so that's how they look in the package, and they say different things. Resting witch face. That cute. Slay the day. I am a cat. I'm a cat. I should have worn that with the shirt, but I had to wear the psycho one. So it's cool. So that feels kind of like 80s to me, like a very cool 80s vibe. Jess makes the coolest yarn dolls. And she, it's like, it's not like, I guess they could do magical stuff. You could make them for purpose. She has, I think her Instagram for yarn dolls is Jess's Yarn Dolls, right? On Instagram? Yes. And we will link that below. But check these. I think she made us one with a pet because look, they're like similar colors. It's like a cool yarn doll. And she has her, first I was like, is it Cthulhu? But I think it's a spider the more I think of it. But it could be a Grindelow because it has arms. It's just a yarn doll with her adorable either Cthulhu spider or Grindelow pet. I just love it. Isn't it awesome? Yes. Jess, you have to tell us which it should be or if it was like, you know, up to interpretation because it's got all the legs, but then it's got arms like a Grindelow from Harry Potter. But Cthulhu, first I was like Cthulhu at first because like Gomez loves him some Cthulhu and then I was like, a yarn dog with an awesome Cthulhu pet, but then I'm like, or is it? Could it be a spider? Jess makes the coolest stuff. She's so creative and awesome and I am the DIY queen with my big DIY playlist. Check it out. So if I say that, it's a high compliment. Like she is amazing. How cool! And I like this yarn doll because she gave us um, like Halloween ones in the last package, a smaller one and a bigger one, and Ophelia commandeered the bigger one, so now we have this one. How cool! Thank you so much. I love these two as a set. It's so cute. And then while we're on a potentially spider topic, these are beanie spiders. They only give them six legs. I don't know why. That is, I've seen jewelry like that too, and I didn't know why, but they're spiders because one is called Webster. Let's see. And the other one is creepy. Yeah, so they're spiders. 
Isn't it cute? And I like the way they did the back. It feels like furry, but like a little bit rough. Like it could be a spooky spider. They're friends. They say hello. Beanie boos. So that has been our newest Halloween haul. All kinds of fun stuff. Thank you, Jess. We love you. And we can enjoy this and ride it out until the fall when cool stuff appears once again in stores. We hope you enjoyed. And until next time.